Uh, well, uh, TDP historically has a history of uh, kind of, what do you call it, being anti-Congress. And uh, in fact, uh, our first president and founder, N.T. Ramarao, he, he took a lot of pains in getting everyone onto a platform, trying to bring everyone together. Of course, uh, it's not easy because uh, left thinks differently, BJP thinks differently. So getting everyone onto one platform was an extremely difficult task. And uh, somehow he managed it, somehow he f started the whole process and it continues in our party. The culture of being anti-Congress, so that continues. The centre says, you know, uh, it's ready to offer you a money equivalent of a special category, state to state. And it says that uh, it cites the 14th Finance Commission report saying that it's a constitutional award and that uh, its hands are tied. It cannot give you the special category status. Can I answer? Yes, please. The thing is, this angle of a special package equivalent, when what you could lose out of a special status will be given in a special package. And this was announced when? In 2016, June, am I correct? Or somewhere around that time. When we are in 2018. And uh, I don't think, uh, after all, time has to be better utilized. Now, if a package can get evolved which is equivalent to a special status, I think I will advise a serious look at it. Because after all, we are part of the country. We have to also cooperate. Indoor. Question comes about the timing. This is not that uh, you were aware about the 14th Finance Commission recommendation. Your state government is. No, no, no. Finance Commission, where did it say about talk about special status? It says that don't it have a special category, don't do a categorization of states. That's what it just advised probably the government of the day. And government accepted of which you are a part. You yourself was a part yeah, of the I was uh, very much in the cabinet. Yeah. I was very much in the cabinet. <laughs> you see, now if you look at it, what is it that the Finance Commission said? And what was it that was giving special status earlier? There was some development council, there was a planning commission. Now both of them have gone and Niti Aayog has come. You see, all this fine or rather hair splitting, where is it taking us? Is it uh, going to add to the confidence which ultimately the people will repose in any democracy? Or is it uh, again taking it away from there? You see, all these things are okay. What are we proving by waiting into all this? The, the devil lies in the details. And farmers are simple people. people, agrarian state, people are very simple. They don't understand all these complications. The second thing, the other way of looking at it, at least your opponents or those who are criticizing your move is saying that uh, it is less about uh, special package or a, uh, status, it's more about uh, TDP is spooked by uh, the crowds that YSR CP is uh, gaining. So now it's a competitive uh, regionalism which has forced your hands to take this drastic step. That, that's probably one way of looking at it. You see, now when crowds come to a place, what is it they have in mind? It becomes a question. I, for one, won't have confidence in a gentleman like Jagan. <laughs> but keep that aside. There are some people who will have confidence in him. So that's a different matter. But one thing for sure, he's not going to have a cakewalk there. Politically, he's, he's not in that type of a reckoning. That's what I feel. 
and he also had given statements earlier not very far back <laughs> that he will support BJP do this do that so it's okay politically anybody is entitled to take their opinion and anything whether it's plus or minus it has an impact on politics but in the last assembly elections the difference in vote share between the GDP and YSRCP was around 2.6 percentage and that much vote the BJP got in your state. So minus BJP, are you confident of winning the state again? You see, in politics you'll win a few elections, you will lose a few elections, majorities will change and these figures are never consistent. People have confidence in you, they'll get you. You see, the advantage is that today everybody at some point of time has been in power. There's no real new horse in the sense of the, that terminology. <coughs> and uh, a good saying, Abraham Lincoln, anybody you want to know their character, give them power. They can't hide it. <laughs> their, <laughs> their true images will come out. And uh, those true images are in front of everybody. Whether it is TDP, whether it's Congress, whether it's BJP, whether it's everybody. So I think in that sense, democracy does get enriched. So let's see. And you are free. So you can remind them where they tend to forget. So again, I'll do the, a bit of hair splitting. I know uh, you're <laughs> honest, but the one argument comes is that even if I do you a special package or a special status, other states may start demanding the same. So, uh, how, how do you react to that uh, argument? You see, whatever it is, states will demand from Government of India. Government of India will have to decide. Now, what are the criteria going to evolve? But that is for a prospective thing. Here you have made a commitment at the highest level in a forum where verbatim everything is recorded. And uh, if that becomes a debatable matter, like I said, then the confidence in the systems started eroding and that generates a, that slide is dangerous also.